Welcome back. So last week I went to Google's London office in central St Giles for the Chromebook showcase event. That means I've got new Chrome OS features as well as new hardware to tell you about. Let's get straight into it. Finally, we've got to see the first ARM powered Chromebook Plus and it's this, the Lenovo Chromebook Plus 14 with the new MediaTek Companio Ultra 910 processor. I've only had this brief time at the event with it, but first impressions of this 14 inch clamshell Chromebook Plus are great. I'll hopefully have my hands on one soon for a full initial impressions and follow up review. So subscribe and do click the bell if you want to get notified of that. The performance stats sound great, of course, with claims of up to 32% faster Gemini on device performance. I'm sure the option of 12 or 16 gig of RAM coupled with fast storage up to 256 gig help out there too. The efficient Companio Ultra processor should also help out the longevity of the 60 watt hour battery with a claim of up to 17 hours of battery life. We'll see once I'm hands on how it fares with mixed use, but it's sounding promising. And all of this performance whilst remaining fanless. The bottom feels plastic, but of decent quality, and it has this interesting shaping to it, which felt nice to grip. It feels like it's ticking other boxes too. The lid is aluminium and it's light, matching the weight of last year's larger 15.6 inch Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Plus. This 14 inch Lenovo is starting at 1.17 kg. That's about 2.58 pound. I expect that's the non touch screen option, but yes, there will be an optional touch display like I saw at the event. Either way, it's an OLED display, which was looking great with 100% coverage of the DCI P3 color space. And it seemed decently bright at a claimed 400 nits. There was mention of a 2K display, but the models I saw were all running a WUXGA resolution, 1920 by 1200, all in this taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio. At the top of the display, there's a five megapixel camera. So I'd expect for video, it's full HD rather than quad. And it's also got a manual privacy slider. The speakers are really interesting too. It's the first Chromebook with Dolby Atmos. So it's got four speakers in total, two on the keyboard deck either side that are tweeters. And on the bottom of the Chromebook, there are downward firing woofers. I understand this fingerprint scanner will be optional, but it's great to see it. And it looks like this one had a backlit keyboard. I think that may be standard, but we'll have to see if it is an option or not. For color, this one is in lunar gray, and there should also be a seashell option, which is described as being more of a light off-white with beige to pinkish hue. The keyboard itself felt nice from a very quick test with shallow to medium key travel and well-spaced keys, of course, with the US keyboard layout on this particular example. The touchpad is a really decent size and felt very smooth, although I believe it's plastic. And from a quick test, it felt very responsive to clicks and taps. Port-wise, it looks pretty minimal as we see with most MediaTek Chromebooks, but I'm sure it's adequate for a lot of us. This should become available in the UK in the coming weeks, expected at the likes of Curry's, Amazon and John Lewis. In the US, you can find it at Best Buy and Lenovo.com, and it should start at $649 there. Hopefully availability will follow on closely in the rest of Europe. In the UK, we're expecting a first model SKU at just under £600 and a second at just under £700. I expect the main differences there will be the inclusion or not of the touchscreen and perhaps those RAM options. As soon as I see availability, I'll our share via X threads and blue sky as usual. And you can check my Amazon affiliate link in the pinned comment at this video to see if and when there's availability in your region. There are also two exclusive software updates for this Lenovo Chromebook Plus 14. The first is smart grouping, which will use AI to recommend organizing open tabs and documents into logical groups based on current tasks. To do this, it will present them in a new desk in Chrome OS. I like to think I'm fairly organized with my 1 million plus tabs open, but perhaps I need to stop kidding myself. I'll be fairly keen to try this one out in day-to-day -day scenarios. The second exclusive software feature is image editing in the gallery app. This looks like a nice quick way to make basic edits to images, removing backgrounds, creating stickers, and that type of thing. I really hope this one can come to other Chromebook models in the future. Speaking of which, rolling out from today, you'll see some new updates for all Chromebook and Chromebook Plus models as part of Chrome OS 137. I expect these may either come as a minor release update to 137 or could be completely controlled in the back end and just turned on by Google. First up, most of you are probably familiar with circle to search on your phone. And now we've got some similar functionality with select to search on Chromebooks using Google Lens. Long press the on-screen launcher button in the bottom left or use the screenshot tool to select anything on your Chromebook screen and get Google search results presented. 
presented. If you're using a Chromebook Plus model using the same method, you can also capture text and share to Google Workspace apps like Docs, or even to your calendar to say, add an event from an image. This looks like it could be a really nice way to convert manual notes into a digital document, especially if the example shown in the promotional video from Google here works just as smoothly when tested in reality. I'll definitely be giving this one a go and I'll share an update on how well it works. Also, for Chromebook Plus users, you'll now be able to generate images directly within the Quick Insert menu. It'll offer you four generated images to pick from. This makes a lot of sense and avoids using Gemini separately and or any extra copy and paste steps. It's one thing that may seem a bit of fun, but could have some practical uses too. Also for Chromebook Plus users, the Help Me Read functionality now has an option to simplify text giving you a more condensed, shorter, easy to understand overview. It's really nice to see that some of these AI features introduced last year are being further refined. If you've watched my video from earlier in the month on Chrome OS 137, you'll have seen we've already had the Notebook LM app pinned to the shelf on all Chromebooks. I'm not sure if that was meant to sneak out ahead of this more curated update. I also covered off the updated naming of the Chromebook perk of the trial of the additional AI features you can benefit from with 12 months free on a Chromebook Plus and three months free for a regular Chromebook. I'll link you to that video at the end of this one if you haven't checked it out yet. A brief one on gaming, we're seeing more games being optimized and tailored to Chromebooks, and in the coming weeks we're told Squid Games Unleashed will be coming to Chromebooks as an optimized desktop app with keyboard and mouse controls plus exclusive skins. If you've made it this far into the video, hopefully it's worth hitting the like button. And speaking of like, you might like to see these cool Chromebook branded goodies from the event. Thanks to all involved in putting on this Chromebook showcase event and all of the device and software development from those working on Chrome OS and Chromebooks. Drop a comment and let me know what you think of all these updates and the new Lenovo. And if you want to check out more on Notebook LM and other features we've already seen in Chrome OS 137, that video is on the left to watch next. Otherwise, to check out another Chrome Plus model that's just launched, that video is on the right. Cheers.